All right. Hello. There we go. I'm there. Hello and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Let me just check that all the green screen stuff is okay. I'm still green, but that always is the case, isn't it? Anywho. What the hell my sound is going a little freaky today. Anywho. Let's continue. It's been a while. We had our, basically, we have like a weekend of uh, Fallout 4, and then we do Darkest Dungeon during like the week. So we're back after a long time. You answered hey, the letter. Jabber. Now, oh. like me, you so, are a part of this place. Yeah, um, Javelin, um, your character, um, died. It was a very unfortunate mission, uh, and, um, I didn't want to go on the mission, but it was the only cool one available, and I went on it. It was all level 5 guys, and, like, we don't even have blacksmithing 4. So, like, it wasn't the best. So, yeah, what, this is... No, we don't even have three. So there you go. Um, that's why they all died, pretty much. Is because they don't have good stuff. So, yeah, um, we did get a, uh, a new, um, crusader. Uh, and uh, if you would like, uh, I can rename him, um, Isaac Javelin version 2. So, um, if you're cool with that, uh, let me know. Uh, I have to get the uh, two other links I need for this, which are the, of course, the actual chart that I use, as well as the online chart for uh, your curios to help me out and uh, remember like what I need to put to what thing. But yeah, so if you want a version two, let me know, or hey, maybe you want to be a different character, um, you know, just just let me know. Anywho, we are back after a while. So, let's see what's going on. We... We have a few missions up. What does he have? Oh, he has rabies. Yeah, we can name him Isaac. Yeah, sure. Um... He'll still have, like, Isaac version 2 next to him. Actually, you know what would be better? Instead of version 2, the version 2 is kind of weird looking. We'll do this. So, this will be... Isaac... Uh, and then we'll do, like, the I.I. For, for the second. Because people are complaining that the version 2 looks ugly next to their name. And now that I see it, I kind of agree. So we'll just go I.I. Like, you know, Convoy the second. Um, that didn't actually work at all, did it? There we go. You're good sleeping on ice. Good. Good to see it. I know. I'm still very green, aren't I? Um, it's lighting, but I've kind of just accepted the fact that, uh, that I am, in fact, green. Um, actually, if, if I, like, you know, didn't have to worry about all kinds of crazy BS, then I would normally dye my hair a little bit green to look like this anyway. But yeah, so, um, the weird thing is, we've got some missions, but, like, none of them are really that great. Like, really at all? Like, we could go on this one and gather three grain sacks, but... I don't know. There's a Vestal Scroll and there's one of these and we could sell, but whatever. Oh yeah, Dirge? Alright, so... Let's just, um... Let's see what's up here. We could also do this mission. I think we already have the Damage versus Eldritch Rings in here. Yeah, we do. So we really don't need a second one. Let me unequip trinkets and... Okay, so we're good there. Hmm. I'm thinking this, because I don't have a Book of Holiness, and maybe I need a good, you know, minus 20 stress damage. Maybe. I don't even know what a Kurobo is. That sounds cool. Alright, so let's spray- Oh, I can't even do a level 4 mission. Yeah, this is the problem we had last time, is because I didn't know what the hell to do. A speed stone's plus one speed. Um, well, let's bring, uh, let's bring Isaac the second, uh, to his first mission. Let's do that. And what else can we do? We could do, do Selly. And who'd be a good third slot? 
I still don't know what that is. Um. Hmm. Can Phantom do stuff in the third slot? He can. Strangely enough. Um. Alright, let's do this then. This looks cool. We'll have a uh, Phantom in the third slot. Awesome. We could also have Convoy in the third slot. Hmm. That might be better to raise both of these guys up instead. So we'll make Convoy probably more offensive in this case. Uh, I'll probably focus on speed. <laughs> That's cool, Dirge. Awesome. Um, we can curse is kind of good. We can still use... Yeah, we can still use these. Okay, so... Alright, it'll be a weird party, but it'll be good, I guess. Um, is Tunnel Snake... No, Tunnel Snake is still good. Tunnel Snake is, is alive and kicking, and in fact has uh, rabies. Which is definitely one of my favorite things uh, for my party to have. Um, I need to, like, plug and unplug some stuff, because friggin' my sound's getting all weird. Okay. Hopefully that's better. Yeah, it's much better. Cool. Alright, we're gonna go on this mission because there's really no other missions to go on. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean... It realistically, or not realistically, but if you look, we've only had two deaths before that party wipe that I was pretty much... I, I considered it being forced to do because I really didn't want to go on the mission. But, like, it was someone who just got un unbelievably, like, screwed. Like, they're not even, like, level one. And then Jenkelberg, that was a really unfortunate, like, like, just one strike on being Death's Door after, like, being blighted. So, like, we're usually pretty good about pe keeping people alive. Give me a Mac, how's it going? Alright, so let's do something here. Um, I believe... Oh, do we not have an accuracy trinket? Oh, shit. Yeah, see, the problem there was, uh, um, Isaac Javelin, that the, um, there was so much bleed in that last mission, it was insane, and I couldn't keep up with it. Shit, we need an accuracy stone, that's, that's something that we need next time, um, to look out for. I'm just gonna do a quick little look here. Yeah, no one's got an accuracy stone, we desperately need one, cause, well, wait, whoa, didn't do that yet. Um... Yeah, he's got rabies, and, like, his accuracy is shit as is. Um, probably we're gonna do a book of relaxation to give him a bit more. And then I think we have to go with Sunbracer. No, what gives him more accuracy? And Sunring. So we'll have less dodge, but he'll have more accuracy. Alright. Not my favorite combo of things, but I'll be fine. I have not played Grim Fandango, but I have seen it played. Uh, let's see here. We also need, um... These three speed. Um, actually, it doesn't matter what order we go in right now. So, let's go ahead and... We give you the Feather Crystal. And... Let's go with a Legendary Bracer. Might as well. Lots of damage. Uh, Convoy... Let's see, what can Convoy do? Well, we've got um, our healers, and she can have the Vestal Scroll. We're basically going to have two healers, which is a bit weird. A oh, really cool dirge. Nice. Um, she also has Night Owl, which is interesting. But I'm wondering here, what would be the best situation... Let's see here. Let's do dodge and crit chance. And then I would almost like to give him more damage as well, but I don't think I have the trinkets for that. So we'll go with dodge. And then my Vestal. We could just do more healing skills. 
All right, that sounds good. It's a short mission anyway. Um, but yeah, so let's just go with this. Just to basically cycle in a new bunch of missions because all these missions suck. Oh, by the way, uh, just in case you don't remember or you weren't here for it, um, I did actually mod this game. So as you can see, our roster size is like humongous now. Um, basically, I, I, I added a mod that changes it so that the last version of the stagecoach allows you to have a roster size of 40 as opposed to 25. Just a simple change like that can really, like, open a lot of doors for you, so. I figured it wasn't too, like, game-breaking of a thing. Like, there's other stuff that, like, changes, like, the values of stuff, and I was like, let's just, like, allow more people to be recruited. I can't increase that stuff yet. All oh, that's good. Oh, wait, let's check your skills out. Ooh, we need to we need to buy some stuff for Isaac before we head out. Let's go ahead and buy what? Sales accusation. Um, that's good. I usually like to go with that. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Let's go. Just a short mission to cycle all the stuff. Um, eight food's good for a short mission. Don't need a bunch of scrolls, really. I'll take two keys just in case and two shovels just in case. There. Alright, hopefully this will work out. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line. Hoping we can keep the stress down, but I don't really have any stress relief. Ooh, nice dodge. Yeah, I don't think actually this is a good party for scouting, unfortunately. Which is a bit of a shame, but what are you gonna do? I said that, and then that happened. Uh, what, you need, like, anti-venom? Oh, wait, let me bring up my chart so I can see. And we're in, what, the ruins? Decorative urn. Now you need holy water. Oh, wait, I do have holy water. Right, decorative urn. Holy water. Oops. Wow, okay. All right, well. I don't really need stun resist, but I guess I'll just sell that for more gold. Nice surprise. Let me subtract that for right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stab this spider at the back. Confidence surges wow, okay, as the enemy that works. I keep forgetting to buy this guy Hugh. Son of a bitch. Press this advantage. That is some damage. Give them though. no quarter. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I haven't actually bought it for him yet. Son of a bitch. Alright. Alright. We keep going. Got a battle up here. Ooh, you gotta take care of the madman. He's pretty nasty, too. That tempting goblet's nasty. Oh gosh, and he gets minus 10 stress damage until next camp. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of in my life. Like, I can understand a few rounds, but that's until next camp. Holy shit. Um... I'm gonna go straight for the kill here if I can. Continually yeah, nice. onslaught. Destroy them all. Let's go for um, a stun, hopefully. Nice. I can't exactly chop him, so I'm gonna do a purge on this guy and move the corpse around. Nice. Stabby stab. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know the bayonet jab actually makes it go backwards. Cool. As the Don't need any more stress. A 
faint hope blossoms. Okay, we can start healing now. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead here and... Yeah, just smite him. There we go. And we'll go for a party heal. Nice. How Ew. quickly the tide turns. Wow, it's stressed three people out too, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Nice. Our healer is stressing out right now. Uh, in fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. More stress relief. <laughs> You're making muffins, interesting. Uh, basically we were like, I guess halfway through the, our short mission in the dungeon. Uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, let's see here. Let's go for Dazzling Light. Actually, I can't really hit him from this position. I think I'll use the Purge here to get rid of the corpses. There we go. Um, we could use another heal, probably. There we go. Ew. Bleed. This expedition wow. at least promises Okay, success. so I didn't realize this, but having him with a sun ring, because he has rabies, essentially having a sun ring makes it so that the rabies is cancelled out, and it gives him plus 35% damage. Wow. The man's only level 1. <laughs> he's got, he's got some, some, like, real potential. Holy shit. Normally people steer away from rabies because the, the minus 10 uh, accuracy, but it's damn good if you can born. take care of it. Uh, probably gonna abyssal artillery here for the most AoE damage. Nicely executed. We need more like stress relief. Good dodge. Okay, that one not so much. Good dodge. Hell yeah. uh, let's go ahead here and I guess just chop one. Hell yeah. And uh, let's party heal. Get on top of that. And maybe a Zealous Accusation. That'll do it. I got the Fiends Must Be Driven Back achievement. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. stuff. Honestly, what are the chances that there's a freaking secret room in this short mission? I'm just gonna go with it. I'll be pissed if it happens, but whatever. Ancient traps lie Eleven's in wait. Nasty. And you can't actually open blood. those without a key, can you? Let me double check here. That is what a locked display cabinet. Yep. Uh, I could use a shovel on it. Um, heck, might as well. Alright, let's do that. So, we'll come up here and we'll use a shovel. And it'll make it safe, but we'll lose something. So we wouldn't get as, as much reward as we if we instead we used a key, but heck, that's good enough. Oh, we do have a fight. Let's, uh, let's heal up the leper a bit. He's looking a bit down and out. Good dodge. Yeah, we need to focus on healing. Those arbalists do a lot of damage. And that graveyard guy, too. Well, not so much right now, but he can. Um, what is Purge? Oh, um, what does Intimidate do? Oh, interesting. I'm gonna do this. It actually does a ton of damage. <laughs> well, for him that is. Uh, let's party heal. Good stuff. And his else accusation. Yes. Mm. 
good dodge. Um, missile artillery, I think. Impressive. Yeah. I'm hoping the leper can go first so that he can purge. Yeah, there we go. And then we can zealous accusation. Oh, oh nice quakes. Uh, then let's come for heal again. Right. Wow, really a quick on balance. A crit bayonet jab. I'm so scared. Oh great, we inflicted bleed on them too. Okay, that's fine. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Right, I think we're good. In radiance, may we find victory. Now what is this? 100% of room battles. Wow, so we have to go through the whole thing. Hey, Turin God, how's it going? Stuff. Oh, now what does this do? I think it does different things if you add holy water to it. So this is a altar of light. Oops. Which... Interesting, it's either an armor bonus or a damage bonus if you use holy water. Um... Give him more protection. Excellent. I know the 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 music in this game is fantastic. It really is. All right, just one more room to go, and we're done. Not even gonna touch that bookshelf or those books. Just no. Ah, oh, that needs keys too. Damn it. Okay, uh, Abyssal Artillery. I'm also going to Intimidate. Intimidate is actually a nice debuff as well. Judgment? My, well, Judgment will kill him. Nice. And then, uh, we'll Zealous Accusation. Hot damn. Please don't stress her out. Ooh, yeah, we could try the shovel, you're right. I keep forgetting the shovel as an option. Because it seems so, so wrong. Because in most cases, you know, like... Oh, please no. Oh my gosh, the debuff. For that extra damage is nasty. Uh, we're gonna purge and it'll probably kill this guy. Just you and me, bitch. <laughs> All right. All right. Continue adventuring. Mount, Let me double check. So this is a lost sarcophagus. Yeah, you can use a shovel. Cool. All right. So let's definitely use this last shovel. Of course, it destroyed some of the contents. But what are you gonna do? More moans return to rest. Devils remanded to their abyss. That was just the mission to get this mission out of the way. Strangely enough. Alright, Isaac, do me well. You have Unholy Hater. Which is actually hilarious for you to have because you already do extra damage to unholy things. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, you get Obsessed with Sainthood. Ooh, what? And Slugger? Holy shit. Convoy gets Stout. And Tough. Nice. Those are some really good ones. Hot oh, damn. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Alright, uh, let's gather all trinkets. Sort my class and all that good stuff. I'm probably just going to end up selling this because... Stun resist isn't like something that I'm like, oh, I wish, you know, I wasn't stunned so often or whatever. And honestly, we don't need these either. 
So I'm going to sell those too. We may use those, we may not. I don't know. Anywho, I think we're good there. Um, not really Isaac Javelin. Um, like... Uh, for me, like, I'm not a, a, a fan of first-person shooter games. Unless it's Fallout. But that's more of, like, an RPG. Uh, let's see here. That's interesting. That's interesting, too. What are these offering? I really need the accuracy ring. Hmm. Which one should I... Oh, gosh. That's a long mission. Nice, Javelin. Nice. It's a third-person shooter? Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm really not like I don't know it's weird I sort of like draw the line for myself at some point and it's a weird ass line that basically is like no that's too violent or too realistic I need a bit more fantasy in order to justify me shooting something anywho um, let's see here we could go on a long mission which would definitely be interesting uh, first ooh, oh gosh let me take a look here and see if I can't upgrade anything the blacksmith. No, because I need friggin' 42 deeds. The most obnoxious thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, can't upgrade the guild yet. I'm one portrait away. Uh, but let's go ahead and Vaughn needs some upgrades here. We definitely want Hugh. Now, I really did enjoy Intimidate, actually. Um, I mean, that's a really nice debuff. I mean, despite having that 75%, like, it's pretty damn nice. I'm just going to give myself the options to have those, then. If I want them. Uh, Isaac, you probably need some upgrading, too. Let's upgrade those. Um, any upgrades here? Yes. Oh, wow. A bunch of upgrades, in fact. I have to watch my numbers here. Right, we're good there. Hokey Pokey, you're good. Doge fan version 2, you're good as well. Awesome. Yeah, lepers are cool. No, lepers are definitely cool. Um, previously, they sucked, like, real bad. <laughs> but they're actually really cool now. <laughs> but yeah, previously they were awful. Okay, so... The 100% food consumed, I mean, like, you just have to buy, like, three more food on a mission than you normally would. That's usually what that equates to. Three percent crit, though, that is nothing you can... I mean, what do I do... What, okay, let me look at this. What do I normally put on a bounty hunter? I normally put a wounding helmet because it's just an extra 20% melee damage. And then if I did that, it would be 20% 20, 20 melee damage, 3 crit and 10 accuracy, and 100% more food consumed. Let me check it again. I'm just trying to see like if it would be a viable idea. I think it'd be pretty damn cool, actually. And it would free up um, other damage trinkets for other people. Or crit trinkets or whatever. Uh, I think, yeah, we're gonna go for this. Because I haven't seen that... Um, well, I've seen it in my previous playthrough, but not in this playthrough. So let's see. Who are we gonna bring along with us? I would like some people to level up, actually. And since it's a long mission, we definitely want Hokey Pokey with us. So let's bring Hokey Pokey... Um, Doge fan will level up. Um, let's do Chihuahua Lover and Convoy. Interesting party composition, but uh, I think it'll be good for the long run. Let's see, we need to give Convoy good heals here. 
Unfortunately, I don't have another heal stone, which sucks. Uh, do any of these guys have rabies? Just want to get that cleared out. Nope. Okay, none of them have rabies. Good to know. So, let's see here. Let's do this. Restraining padlock to lessen the uh, stress done to party members and himself. Um, let's see, what can we do for... What can we do for Doge fan here? I think camouflage cloak? Because he... He is in, like, the second position, and usually the first two positions are the most attacked in general. Um, I'm thinking... Maybe even the Sun Ring? I'm thinking the Sun Ring. And Legendary Bracer for more damage. Bright Tambourine, and Bloody Jester Dice. Let me just check if there's anything else I'd want to add instead. Stress damage. Either way, one of these guys are getting stress damage just based on the, uh, the damage bonus from uh, either trinket. It's just whether or not you have accuracy or not. And usually, his is uh, ranged, so he'll need it. Alright, I think we can do this then. Let's just hope we have enough provisions. Now, this is in fact the, um... Oh gosh. Let me check the mission first. What is the... It's 90% of rooms. Okay, so we're not going to get, like, added stuff at all. So I'm going to go ahead and see what the Warrens need for stuff. Um, generally torches. Rack of blades. Pile of bones. Okay. So we'll get a few things if we can. But uh, I'll, I'll start small, and then if we can get some extra stuff, we'll get it. Alright, let's see here. So we need... That amount of food is usually what I'm comfortable going with. I think we can eke out three shovels. I'm not confident in it, though. Uh, we'll take three skeleton keys, because I'd like to save a bit of money. Uh, three stacks of torches... And beyond that, we'll get, like, another medicinal herb, one bandage, and one holy water. Yeah. Okay. We'll stick with that, then. And, um, we're gonna try to go for money this round. Money shovels, torches. Okay. Cool. Alright, we got this. I hope. Now, we're going to be transforming a lot. To prosecute our war against I think it'll the be swine, okay. we must first scout their squalid homes. Ew! It's the most disgusting map layout I've ever seen. Well, I mean, it's a grid, but, like, look at how freaking large this thing is. Alright, um... I'm thinking, like, this way, then up again, then over, and, like, doing a loop-de-loop. This is what you have the holy water for. Woot. <laughs> Alright, that works. Hey, did I give him Cry Havoc? I did. We're gonna go with Cry Havoc. Um, because that also is a stress heal as well. That'll help us because we're actually gonna get a lot of stress from uh, transforming the Abomination a lot. Surprise. We'll also see how this goes, too. This might also be a bit weird. Uh, I'm gonna whip him. Let's go ahead and... Harvest? Confidence wow, nice. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Oh, we can't cry havoc in that position. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and uh, hound rush this guy. Continue the onslaught. Destroy you know, let's uh, let's save ourselves a bit of. Uh, oh, he can't. Oh, okay, so he has to. Okay, it's only like not too bad. 
fresh disadvantage. Give them no quarter. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Huh. All right. Minus two speed for three rounds. Interesting. What can Blade Rax possibly give us anyway? Let's just take it. Good scout. Hopefully. It's actually a really nice scout. Um, it is 90% of rooms. We'll just basically... Actually, I'd like to go back for a second. Let's go in this hallway. Nope. Not looking at that stack of books. I love that you can just go in and out, too. If you don't mind backtracking at all. Oh gosh, it's got a map inside. Okay, well the entire map is now completely laid out for us. <laughs> the only other thing we can do is possibly get like a crit scout and hopefully uncover some sort of a... Uh, um, some sort of secret room, but that is, um, that is something special. That is, that is something special. <laughs> Alright, so we got a battle in the next room. Oh my shit. It's the only thing I can do with the game. Marked and debuffed. Um, battle ballad. Let's go ahead and... Does he have any protection? He does not. Uh, I'm gonna Hounds Rush him. He's also bleeding. Interesting. Okay, and transform. Probably gonna rake these guys. Oh, shit. Quakes. And it buffs his damage actually too, which is awesome. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and harvest these two. Excellent stack in the bleed. He's guarded him. Abyssal artillery, it actually does more damage to Eldritch, so this should be a little better than normal. Five damage, but whatever. Rake again, I'm pretty sure would be good here. As the nice! Falls, Holy shit. A faint hope blossoms. It's gonna be the easiest collector battle ever. Holy shit. Blows. He's gonna he's gonna wait, is yeah, he's gonna die next turn. He's gonna die next turn. That's hilarious. Um let's just take care of one of these guys. Uh any of them have like protection or anything like that? No, not really. Just go for this guy, I guess. Uh, we'll whistle artillery. Their formation is broken. Maintain the oh offensive. My gosh, this is amazing. Um, let's just ensure that we go first. So we'll battle ballot again to increase our speed. And a rake. A decisive pummeling. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, that's nasty. Let's get a heal out here. Um, who needs some stress relief? 31, 34. Nice. And Hound's Rush. Victory. Okay, then. A victory, no uh, less. That's really damn cool. Uh, we'll get rid of the jade and we'll take the um, puzzling traps of the Hublahedron. Well, that wasn't something I expected so early in this. Friggin' A. Alright. We're just going in here so that we can turn around. That was probably the easiest collector fight ever. I mean, the only damage we actually took was actually just the Jester getting damaged. Players League.
Um, did we name this? Yeah, this is Chihuahua Lover. I was being sure. It's weird because we, we, we had such a weird thing where we couldn't upgrade him for the longest time. Um, now, what's the percent chance on this pile of bones? It's like a 50% chance, so I'm not going to go with it. Best dog ever. Oh, hey, Georgie. Um. Yeah. Oh, no, no, that's different Georgie. Sorry. My bad. Oh, Georgie, did you want a, a character named after you? I don't the think light, you ever um, the put promise a thing of on safety. here for Georgie's Gone Wild. Let me know if you want one. We have a, we have a few, um, actually... Any of these guys? Nah, th these are all dudes who are named, but there are some people that we have in our, um, in our other town that, uh, that have not been named yet. So, if you, if you feel the mighty need to be named after one of my characters, and possibly die, um, let me know. Alright, do we have any battles coming up? Okay, one in, like, the next hallway. Heals. That is a nice heal. Please don't. How quickly oh my the tide fuck. turns. Um. Yeah, Meow Mac. I, I'm pretty sure you're still alive. Yeah. In fact, no, that's not you. That's the other jester. <laughs> okay, Jordy's going wild. Um. Yeah. When we go back to the um to the when we finish this mission, I'll show you who's available. Um, let's see here. The bleed, yes, he'll die. We need to bring down Convoy Stress. Because for some reason he's being stressed the F out real bad. Um. I mean, that doesn't help either, but, you know. Rake! Wow, look at that. There's so many good things I want to carry. Let's say no to crests for the time being and go with that. We need at least one portrait. Uh, let's see. 70, 100, 90, and... Okay. Now, this isn't 100% accurate. Thank you. Okay. Oh god. Nobody really needs anything, gonna whip the pigs. Why do they gotta aim for Convoy? He's the one that has like the stre most stressed like training. The worries. Oh gosh, that actually increases his stress. Friggin' A. And hook it where it hurts these damn pig hookers! Oh, I'm gonna through here. We need to bring down convoy stress, because it, it's gonna get bad. Rake! Nice. Terry. Nice. Good dodge. Okay. Keep inspiring. There we go. Probably. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna rage actually here. Because I hate that pig hooker. Let's get our heels topped up here. Lead's not fun, but whatever. He'll die next turn, though. Good dodge. More inspiring tunes! Yes. <laughs> Keep him away from the insanity. Um, he can use a bit of heal. Yes. 
Damn it, he inflicted bleed. He's gonna die anyway. It's a shame I can't cry havoc from this position. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Hmm. I think we, we're gonna go big gems. We should probably camp, actually. To free up room. I found these long missions to be a little bit annoying. How, like, it takes up a lot of your inventory early on. Yeah. Alright, now this is a sacrificial stone. What do I need for this? It's just a 50-50 of either you get a good perk or you get stressed for 50. All right, sure. Um, he technically has the best stress resist at this point. Hilariously. So, convoy, touch the sacrificial stone. Eh, not too deeply. It could have been 50. All right, not touching that blade of rack of blades, right? The Rack of Blades is like a 40-40% chance, which is a bit odd. I guess the other um, 20 is that nothing happens. But fuck it. Nothing useful. Okay. We got a battle coming up. Well, Convoy's carrying a severed head. Also, he's not carrying another trinket. What? Did I just not give him another trinket? Oh, that's a pain in the ass. Well, he's gonna pick up whatever other trinket we're gonna find on our way. That's a little annoying. Whip him! Reduce that stress. It was worth it. It was like a 50-50 chance that he either gets something good or something bad. I think we'll camp after this. Please kill that pig, thank you. Drums of Doom isn't that bad. There's there's worse mega stress heals. Good dodge. <laughs> yeah, Georgie's going wild alright. I'll have to remember that next time. Next time I'm carrying a severed head. I'm gonna hound Harry here, actually. Nice. Bring down convoy stress. Yeah, I think we're gonna camp after this one because we're starting to get a little stressed out. We're gonna rage this guy. Wow, that's nice. I think that's what he said. Good dodge. <laughs> yeah, George's go all this. That what would happen. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure that's how it works, but we can we can all uh, we can all pretend it works that way. I'm pretty sure most people who would, if like if you were carrying around a severed head, would be like reporting you to the police. Not oh god, what happened? <laughs> this expedition. Well, there we go. There's there's convoy's trinket right there. Yeah, five more protection, minus one speed. I will take that extra key. Uh, we are not carrying around Onyx, and I'm not carrying around any more gold because I don't have room. Camping. A moment of respite. Make some more room on our inventory. To steal Bring an egg. against the coming horrors. Okay. So what do we have here? We have Psych up. So he'll stress himself out, but for four combats he'll have plus 25% damage, which is fucking ridiculous. I love it. I kind of like this. Let's do every rose has its thorn. Nice. 
Ooh, even more stress resist. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really awesome. Alright, now Psych Up is four. And Dark Strength is two. Holy shit, let's do it. Okay. So, who should we increase the... Let's increase the uh, Houndmaster's damage. There we go. And let's Psych Up. Beautiful. They all have like minus, yeah, minus 25 stress damage, um, minus 15 stress damage, minus 10 stress damage. Oh my gosh. And 20, oh freaking, this is awesome. The way oh is gosh. lit. The path is clear. These next four pathetic souls are going to freaking to follow it. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go like that and then down. Let's do it. Trap coming up. Get this arm. There's absolutely nothing in this hallway. Also, actually, uh, do, 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 do. technically, we don't need shovels. So, if, if, if worse comes to worse, we can actually drop our shovels. And you know what, technically I'm not even going to use a torch. Um, well, they're starting to get stressed out, which is a bit annoying. But the lower your torch light, the more money you get. It's like a friggin' empty hallway. Ooh. <gasps> a secret room! Holy shit! Yes! I was hoping a critical scout would come in handy. A secret room. Yes. Um, no shovel. Let me check something here. I'm going for money this time around, so do 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 do. We could just go like Torch Yolo. Or no doggy bones. Let's do no doggy bones. And we'll take all those. The gold! All oh, the gold is mine. Sorry for, you know, the loss of doggy bones. But there must be sacrifices. I'm sure there's something good in the rations, you know. Even though you're not supposed to feed, like, you know, dogs, human food. Magic I'm sure there's stuck. some things, A like, blazing I don't star know. is born. A well-cooked pork chop or something, I don't know. How <laughs> rude. <laughs> what? I mean, friggin' A. What are you supposed to do? Check out. It's a rack of blades. So, no. Well, that was some freaky shit right there. Uh... What is this thing again? It's an occult scrawling. Let me check. That is like a 33%. It's like a third. Like in a third and a third. And it's like not a good idea to do anything to it. Okay, cool. So no. I don't like those chances. Alright, what do we got in this hallway? Nothing. Um, trap disarm. Excellent. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. This is our first and combat like forever. Alright, uh, we need some uh, inspiring tunes here. <laughs> this artillery and a nice shot there. Transform. Break him. Nice! That was just enough. Holy shit. 
We fucking own. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Uh, okay. Alright, Georgie. Um, you know what? Um, we do have a- we do have a link that shows up every once in a while. You should see it in chat, and, um... Yeah, if you like a certain class, then let me know, and I, I can uh, change it for you. The next time you'll come on, you'll have a character. Now, what is... Okay, a bone altar. I'm learning these one by one. Wow, a bone altar has, like, no negative effects. Holy shit. And it gives you some sort of buff. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, let's see here. Um, I don't know what this does, so I'm gonna do this. Infuses the hero with great power. I don't actually know what it did. <laughs> I have no idea. There's so many buffs on him. I have no idea what did what. Oh, yes. Um, okay, so we'll not drink in town. Uh, religious delusions. Uh, minus two speed if torches blow 26. Guilty conscience. And okay, convoy. Let's, let's have you get rid of some shit here. So we use a torch on this pile of scrolls, and it should get rid of something. Got rid of, uh, Dekanamidia, or whatever the hell that was. Fear of... Decor. Art Deco. I'm afraid of Art Deco, too. That shit's scary. Touch it. Honestly, it's not too bad of a thing. You get, like, bleed for a couple rounds. Is this, uh, where you have a battle here? Not too bad of a battle. Okay. Rounds rush. It is marked. I forget whether or not, um, there's a negative or if these guys have a mark target. Good stuff. Let's, uh, actually nobody needs it, so let's just do this. And, uh, let's see, who's more stressed? 36, 39. Good dodge. He said something. I don't know what it was, but he said something. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Okay, don't need the rest of that stuff, really. And a skeleton key. What do we got here? I'll take whatever I can, and I can't take anything. I would like deeds, but this is a treasure mission, so... no. Okay, let me see. Um, do, 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 do. So you want like a dark class, and you don't want Georgie's Gone Wild as a name, you just want me to choose a name for you? What if we call you, like, Wild George? I think that's fitting. We'll call you, like, Wild George, and I'll, I'll, I'll pick, like, a darker character, like, um... Maybe, like, an occultist or something? Actually, I'll that for a second. We'll see what else is available, too. But, yeah. Wild George! <laughs> Damn it, can't take it. Because I'm focusing on, uh... Really, we only need one more portrait? Like, just one more. That is the freakiest shit. Or curious, George. Yeah, your choice, man. What do you what do you want to be called? There is actually a curious quirk, and we can keep that on you. Eat again. Do we have battle here? No. Okay. You choose. I kind of like Wild George. 
kind of like that. We'll try to get your rabies or something fitting. All right, Georgie, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Super easy long mission, holy shit. Nobody needs healing. Um, just whip him a little. Do slice off his. or no, we'll do. Um, give myself a little stress relief there. Okay, nice. What does he have? Oh, yeah, he got the worries. Damn. You have to get rid of that. Super nasty. Rake. A single wow. strike. Holy shit. That was amazing. Um. This is the weirdest party, but it works. It totally this works. Momentum. Push on to the task's end. Right, I can't really afford to do that right now. In radiance, may we find victory. Um, I kind of want to continue a little, just to see what's up. You know what, we are running out of torches though. I say let's camp here, and um, and then we'll see what we can do. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. We'll probably do something similar here. So we'll do uh, therapy dog. We'll do um, every rose has a thorn. Then we'll do dark strength, and we'll do psycho. It's a good combination of stuff to give us nice stress uh, relief bonuses and then use the stress skills to give them more damage. Okay, so more room in my inventory so we can pick up some stuff. I mean, how much space is that open? It's opened up two slots, okay. If nothing else, we'll get like a thousand more gold or something. Ew, this is a nasty formation. Holy shit. Uh, let's focus the back pigs. It's a good crit. I like how they synergize together with, um, with that, which is really cool. We're gonna uh, harvest here. We might be able to take these guys up before they can attack. Because he'll be able to uh, transform. And, uh, and rake them to death, probably. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I did that. Friggin' so another sapphire. Resistance. Excellent. Right, now, we only have one more torch. Which is kinda dangerous. And I kinda have to use it because... Well, he doesn't have to. Let's go in, because there's not too many things that could go wrong. We surprised them, so we're cool. <laughs> I was worried for like two seconds, but no, we're cool. A little, do a little harvest. Uh, little hounds rush this guy. Transform and rake him. Remind yourself that overconfidence is I would a love slow to pick up these deeds. Insidious killer. Let's just get rid of the medicinal herbs. I haven't even seen one of those in a while. Basically, they're used for a lot of things in the uh, a lot of interactive objects in the Warrens, but for some reason, I haven't showed up at all. Um, Fine. And we 
got a scout, but nothing showed up. That's a little strange. All right, well, uh, let's see what's going on here, then. And then uh, we'll leave after this room battle, probably. Hey, another torch! Excellent. And a shovel. I'll take the torch. It's not quite enough. We'll have full light for this last room. We surprised him again. We're just fucking amazing. Holy shit. This is the weirdest party and I love it. I'm not sure if we probably won't be able to one-shot these guys, unfortunately. I mean... We might be able to get away with some shit there, which is nice. Like, he'll die next turn. He won't die next turn. Nobody's doing terrible stress-wise. I'm just gonna rate here. They're both dead. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Now, unfortunately, we're left with this pig. Rabies? Nope. Vertigo. Okay, that's kind of. What does Vertigo do? Yeah, I'd imagine it would. Uh, it would reduce um, move, uh, move resist. Okay. Um, let's um, bring down his stress a little so he's a little bit fresher for the uh, next round. And then uh, this artillery. Actually, he will die next turn. Yeah, he'll die next turn. But whatever. Let's do this. Success so clearly in view. Right, well, we don't need or skeleton is it keys. Merely we'll take a that. Trick of the light. Um, we could go attack like whatever the hell's here and get a little extra cash as well. Hopefully, our light doesn't get too low. Okay, this won't be too bad. There you go. That takes care of that. I think Grave Nibble does give you stress, unfortunately, but not too much in this case. Let's do a uh, slice off. That'll take care of him. Well, that's only five stress. Normally, that's a lot higher. Oh, we got nothing for that. Okay. Well, let's just leave then. That was a very successful the long mission. Oh shit. Seem a little less impossible. Let's see the amount of treasure we get for this. Yeah, holy shit, that's nice. <laughs> that is a real nice cash injection. Um I'm gonna have to remember that if we want to do some crazy like stuff, we should go on long missions, because I guess they have a better chance to have collectors and um secret rooms. Plus, I I don't know. I mean, uh, camping early seems to be a good idea too, just to buff everybody. That's friggin' wild. And we've got uh, two level threes now going on, which is nice. Uh, Doge fan two gets Cove Adventure. Interesting. Unfortunately, we do have to put Hokey Pokey and Convoy into the um, sanitarium. I see something long absent in the sunken faces of passersby. A glimmer of hope. So then, I guess uh, let's let's start off with the putting them away. So hooky pokey, we need to get rid of the worries because that is a nasty, nasty thing. And convoy, we need to get rid of vertigo. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and unequip all trinkets, get them all in order here, and we got a hunter's talon, which is going to be pretty damn cool for a uh, uh, for one of these guys. Look at look at our friggin' party and how like not even like stressed they are. It's amazing. The the most stressed person is is are these two people. It's friggin' crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Hey, Mr. Daniel, how's it going? All right, let's see here. I really don't have a terrible amount of people that I want for um for different missions. I mean, I guess I could like. Add some other people, I guess. Um, but like, I don't feel the, the 
necessity to really. I mean, we have room, which is awesome. Uh, let's see what missions we can go to. Oh gosh, I don't, I don't even want to try that. Uh, let's see what we have. What is that? That is a weird ass charm. 40% heals received. Wow. So I guess that would be like, you'd give that to your tank and make sure he has like some other trinket that gives him the most obnoxious amount of health increase or something. Um, can't get on to a, um, a mid-level mission yet. And Frog Comet's going to level up soon anyway. So we have to do one of these. I mean, I'd, I'm a fan of these, these long missions. I friggin' might as well. It's a friggin' crazy trinket. Uh, let's head back. Um, I'm trying to think. I want to upgrade some people, I'm pretty sure. One of these people I wanted to do something with. I forgot what it was, though. Oh, you know what I want to do? Uh, I can upgrade the guild! So that people can get rank 5 stuff. And I got, ooh, our techniques uh, sharpened uh, to a razor's edge. As an achievement. Alright, so... For this mission, we're going to focus on getting deeds, because we need a ton of them for the blacksmith. Plus, the extra 12 as a reward is nice. So, let's see here. I would love to bring a jester with us, because of how long missions work. But unfortunately, we don't have another jester. Isaac can definitely do some stress relief with Inspiring Cry, but it's not, like, an insane amount, unfortunately. Um, he can actually stress heal himself? No, no, that's the, that's the other guy. It'll be a weird mission, but I think what we'll do is we'll, we're, gonna, we're gonna go in, and we're gonna basically, like... Let me upgrade these people as well. It's gonna be a weird mission, but I think we can we can get away with it. So it'll be Phantom, Selly, Vaughn, Isaac. Uh, yeah, that'll that'll work. That'll work. All right, let's upgrade. Oh, he's already upgraded. Let's just make sure we got their skills here. We've got the gold might as well. Okay, cool. Um, I thought someone earlier had, like, the coolest friggin' thing that they got. And I've got to make sure that they're, in fact, um, rewarded for that. Because someone got something nice. Oh, yeah, Slugger. Oh, my gosh. With his rabies, he'll be insane. They're fine for now, so we don't have to lock anything in there. All right, uh, let's, let's, let's see what we can do here. So it'll be... It'll be Selly, uh, Vaughn, Isaac, and Phantom. Dented Steel. Ooh, interesting. Alright, so let's see here. Yeah, you can do all those moves, so, so we're all good there, which is awesome. Uh, let's go ahead here and... Well, I guess he, we know what trinkets he's going to have. He's going to have his Hunter's Talon. And he's also going to have um, the Wounding Helmet. So he's going to do an obnoxious amount of damage. As well as, you know, have a higher uh, chance to crit, which is awesome. Um, Vaughn needs a lot of accuracy. So we'll give him the Sun Ring for 10 more accuracy. And I think, what do we give him? The Book of Relaxation. So he won't dodge as often, but he, he has those things, which is nice. Um, Isaac. Isaac, we're probably going to give... Probably a Legendary Bracer and a Solar Bracer. So more crit, more dodge, more damage. He has a little bit less speed. But I think that should be okay. And then Selly is going to have our healing trinket combo, which is Junia's head 
and uh, the Vestal Scroll. Unfortunately, everybody's, everybody's gonna have like really shit speed except for uh, Phantom. But hey, whatever. They're they're gonna be doing some nasty shit. I'm excited to see it. All right. Um, that's the best we can do at the moment. Now then, we are going to the Weald. So let me check what trinkets we're working with. Um, just in case you guys haven't seen this page before, I will copy and paste it in the chat. Uh, this is the chart I use um, to sort of familiarize myself with what the different curios do. So, in the Weald. So there's a lot of different things you can do. We are focusing on deeds this time around. You could do stuff with holy water if you wanted to. Um, that would remove a positive quirk, so we'll just hold on to that. But let's see here. Yeah, nothing's like crazy. Like nothing I'd want to be like, oh, I have to have that. So, yeah. Uh, we'll just focus on keeping our inventory a bit free. So I'll bring the necessary food now. This is what I normally bring for food, but I'm actually going to buy the last four food because uh, he has a trinket that makes him consume 100% more food. So we're going to buy as much food as we can. Um, we're also going to buy... Three shovels. Four keys. There we go, that many torches. And we'll save a bit of money and a bit of space. Yeah. Let's embark. Now, I think the first thing we're actually going to do is, well, we'll first assess where we are. Um, but we might want to camp first just to make room and to buff our people. Oh gosh, Darkest Dungeon crashed on me. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> well, okay then. Um, I mean, usually it, it saves your progress. So either we're in there or we're not in there. So there's there's no you know terrible time loss in that situation because of how often it um it saves. All right, Steam's got to realize that I, that the there we go. Cool. Sometimes Steam has a, a weird thing where it's like, no, the program's still running. Like, no, I literally just closed out. Well, crashed in this sense. But whatever. Start fast. My only worry is that, um, what if it didn't count my, uh... Okay, so I am in the wheel. Okay, cool. How funny would it be if I go in and, like, some, like, crazy, like, missing no boss battle happened? Where, like, like shit shouldn't even be happening that just happened or something? I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna see how our first battle goes. If stress becomes an issue, we will, in fact, camp then. That is the weirdest effing thing, though. Okay. Let's, let's do this. Actually, you know what? This is gonna be Wild George. I know, I know he's uh he's not here right now in chat, but he wanted something dark, and what's more dark than a, a friggin' rabies ridden leprosy man? <laughs> there we go, Wild George. <laughs> the leper with rabies. You can't get crazier than that. Actually, what, uh, what different art styles do we have here? What screams wild? Kind of like that. Wild George. Actually, I kind of want to see. What are the different art styles here? We've got purple, red. Oh, I kind of like that. Let's go with that. Alright. We use a torch and we'll head in. I wanted some color variation because they were all gray. Oh gosh. 
Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. Sist. Stashing some treasures. There's freaking nothing here. All right, I just want to check out this room. This is the thing you. No. No. Oh. Apparently, he's a manslayer. Well, shit, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Um, I just hope that when he upgrades, um, Slugger isn't replaced, because that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Special on Leopard. We need to, uh... Oh no. Good dodge. Okay, so... I kind of want to flashbang this dude and maybe switch up the party so that he moves around. Nice. Did I put Hugh on him? I keep forgetting to put Hugh on Wild George. What is with the crits going on? Okay, we're going to camp after this because this is fucking ridiculous at this point. Uh, nobody really needs a heal, uh, so we're going to go with a judgment on this guy. <laughs> Friggin' did all that just for him to get in his original position. Uh, intimidate. Wow, that sucks. Rest this advantage. Stuff there. Give them no quarter. Ooh, they all like that. Oh, there's three religious people in the group. Okay, let's just collect bounty. Ooh, no, we can't. We can finish him. Onslaught. I don't want any more Destroy stuff from the madman. We could all use a bit of uh, a heal, I think. That's good. And intimidate. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. He resisted the debuff. But we can just smite him. Or not. What the hell was that about? Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Ooh, we got another. Uh, ooh, a dodge stone. The light, the promise of safety. Hopefully, there's not a battle in here. Good, we're gonna camp. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Did you see that we needed ten instead of eight food there? Yeah, this is gonna be weird. Okay, so... Oops, I keep doing that. I think tracking is really, really going to be nice. Uh, let's see here. Reduce stress by 25. If afflicted, reduce stress by 15. Prevents nighttime ambush. Wow, that does a lot of cool stuff, actually. Um, what do we got here? Reduce st stress by 20. Accuracy and crit. Excellent. I will do that. Let's reduce stress by 25. Um, and prevents night 10 ambush. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I definitely want to do tracking. And let's pray. Awesome. Ooh, we only have three left. That's a bit of a pain. Um... We're going to have to encourage our healer, because that's the only thing we can do at this point. It'll clear up a bit more inventory space for us. I don't think anybody can do anything with one, so it's just rest. Okay, we're good. We gotta head back. Now, which way should we travel first? I feel like this one's more straightforward. There's just one little... Thing here. Okay, I'm still good. Okay, no 
surprise there, unfortunately. Good dodge, good dodge. Okay, uh, I'm gonna flashbang this dude. Bring him a little bit forward. Oh, or a lot forward. Harmless swipe. What? What did that do? Um, alright, I'm gonna chop this guy. As wow, that worked falls, really well. A faint hope blossoms. Um, I'm gonna try... Ooh, I can't Dazzle Light her. But I can Judgment her, so let's go ahead and do that. That is a nice amount of damage. Holy shit. He's almost dead from that. Go for a smite. I don't think I can reach her from there. Let's try to flashbang. Far forward one and stun her. Excellent. Okay then. Let's go ahead and chop. Let's do some more judgment, I guess. Might as well. Nobody's, you know, that desperate for a heal. I think that's just supposed to move him forward. Like, weirdly enough. Alright, I'm actually gonna heal. Or not heal, um, do some inspiring cries here. Reduce her stress a little. It's only by seven, that's pathetic. Um, I guess we're gonna purge to bring this guy closer, because I can't hit him. Then we'll just go for a collect bounty, I guess. That's a decent amount of damage. Good dodge. Um, go for a heal. Oh, that's a very nice heal, actually. Um, I guess, yeah, and we'll do this. That worked out pretty well. As victories mount, so we too could get will more resistance. Food. Could get more food. Does it give you food and gold, or just food? Let's uh, let's find out. It's just food. Okay. I thought it was just food, but I wanted to make sure. If anything, it's like it's more stuff we can use later on to heal people if we need to. All right, because they'll get hungry. This can use a shovel. I'd rather save my shovels though. Why do we have- oh, I bought four keys and then got one from you. Gotcha. Oh boy, slimes. Oh boy, slimes. Okay. Try and- good. Kill one of them. Excellent. Kill two of them. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to reach that. What's the stun resist? 50? Resisted. And I can't reach it from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and who has more stress? You do? So the way that is little. lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow he it. Crit slide them. Bastard. Um I can probably finish him actually. There you go. That worked. Okay. Uh, we got some, so we got keys to spare. Indeed. We have or is it merely a trick of the light? Um, we can also use a key for this left luggage. Aren't we supposed to be getting deeds? Good surprise. I think that surprise is actually going to wear off a little bit. In a little bit. It's a shame. It's a crit for 26. That's crazy. Well Crit struck. for 37. Crit for 16. What the fuck was that? That was just three crits, like one after a trifling that. victory. Yeah, we did but get huge victory, didn't we? nonetheless. Let's do that. I like that. Now I did learn something cool, actually. Um, check this out. So, if you unequip all of his skills, 
then he, of course he has no skills. But you can choose the order. So, we'll do Chop first. Q second. Uh, we'll do Intimidate third. And Purge fourth. And there you go. It's in the correct order. So just in case you want the uh, items, or not the items, but the uh, the stuff in a certain order. Like this guy. Let's do this. We want Smite first, uh, Zealous Accusation, uh, Holy Lance, and then Inspiring Cry. So that's a good order for that, that I'm comfortable with. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. So, we've got Collect Bounty, we've got Finish Him, and then we have Flashbang and Mark for Death. And I think hers are in like a decent order as well, but we're just, we'll just do this. Uh, Divine Grace, uh, Divine Comfort, then Judgment, and Dazzling Light. Cool. So, just in case you were wondering, that's how you uh, order some skills around. Just in case you don't like the position. Oh, no, we have a battle. And we surprised them! Holy shit, this is amazing. Okay, um... I'm actually gonna mark this guy, because his protection's really annoying. I think we're gonna heal. That is, that is damn sexy. We're going to judgment this guy. Probably a Zealous Accusation might be able to take care of at least him there. Uh, not quite, but damn they are all close to or close to death. Rain of Blight can be nasty, but we're alright. Escape Cloud can also be pretty nasty. Alright, he's blighted. Doing alright. Okay, we can collect bounty here. Purge only works in the first one, interesting. Right, we're just gonna chop this guy. Uh, nobody really needs anything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and judgment. There you go. Excellent. Okay, can't Remind carry yourself on the buffs. that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay, I'm just gonna double check what needs holy water. Not too much. Like, if we find another effigy, we'll need it, but otherwise, we don't really need it. I think I'll drop a torch uh, to take those busts. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Oh, we get some scouting. <laughs> Finally. It's <laughs> friggin' long mission, though. What? Do you have, like, wield foe? No, you have, like, all good perks. Okay. I was wondering why he was freaking out every other second, though. That's a bit weird. I'm pretty sure we have enough food to last us a while, so we can... Hey, another torch! Um, I can't actually pick it up, so I'll just use it. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Touch. Nothing of interest. Okay. And we've got a battle coming up in here. In Radiance, may we find victory. One of those Eldritch Altars. Ooh, a surprise. Collect Bounty? That'll do. The Wolf Hue, Zealous Accusation, and... Hopefully that'll take care of most of them. Probably only, only be one dog left. You took care of two people. And there you have it. Okay, now... These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. This Eldritch Altar, right? Because that's what it is? Eldritch Altar. That is one that can appear in anything. And it's a Quirk Purge. Awesome. Uh, who needs Quirk Purges the most? Thin-blooded, obsessed with saintlyhood, believes it's possessed by demons. Um, usually I don't even have my uh, torch below that. Phantom is fine. 
Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, Wild George, you are going to use some holy water on the Eldritch Altar. And Thin-Blooded removed! Awesome! That is exactly the one I wanted to have removed, too. Oh my gosh, we found a secret room. These long missions, man. These long missions, if you're in for it, like, you can, you can fucking get away with murder. Alright, let's, let's dig it up. Wow, that's nice. Um. Jade or Citrin, it's like one of those things, like, they're the exact same, which you're more likely to find. They're pretty much in the same bag, so whatever. Okay, let's see. 60, 60, 170. Good stuff, Phantom. Keep those trap disarms coming. Alright, and there's a treasure room right here. Slimes. Um, we'll just go with a collect bounty, I guess. 26 crit. We've lost all of our camp buffs, by the way, so... We might have to worry about that at some point. We are doing damn good on this mission. Fucking A. What the shit? We're amazing. Be we got a key. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Now deeds are actually the thing that we came to get. So technically we don't need portraits anymore. Uh, because we've upgraded the guild completely. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, to get a little bit let me click on it there we go disarmed touch the old tree it's got poisonous scent and I think this is the secret room okay now this is gonna be an issue well, fuck citron do we need busts? We really don't need busts anymore. If you think about it. And, you know, screw crests. We're just gonna focus on deeds. And so far we haven't found many. Um, there's nothing that way, so I'm just gonna head this way, actually. I'll head back the way we came, because it gives us that option. So might as well. Instead of wasting our time there. Because... As, speaking of waste of time, we have to walk all the way back here. Okay. Just so they don't stress out as we're traveling. This is a crazy, like, successful mission. It's, it's, it's stupid insane. We've, we've got a treasure room, like... I had to heal maybe once. Like, these guys are nuts. I'm not feeling that lucky. We're probably going to hit a barrier at some point. And probably two. I'm not feeling that lucky. Damn, we, we friggin' owned this long mission. I say that. We're only halfway through, so shit could go sour fast. Just by me saying that. Watch, it's gonna be like friggin' three fights in a row and there's gonna be like some awful friggin' thing I never saw before. Ancient it's not too bad. Lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Hey, another show. Um, see what I say, it's either Citrin or Jade, but this time it was Citrin. Um, we don't need any of those right now, so we're fine. We gotta keep our light above 75 so our sun trinkets work. Okay, and we surprise them. We're just fucking amazing. Uh, let's go ahead here, and I like to mark this guy because he has a lot of protection as is. It reduces his protection, and it's just better. Let's we'll do some AoE shit here. Hell yeah. We can do some AoE. That'll kill him. <laughs> That'll just kill him. That works. 
dodge. Escape cloud can be nasty, but alright. One blight. Let's go with a chop. I'm gonna wanna heal actually, so I'm just gonna shuffle this guy around a tiny bit. We did stun him, nice. And let's do a heal here. Nine is nice. I can't actually hit him from there. So I'm gonna do some stress relief probably. There we go. Not too much, but you know, whatever. Uh, we will probably purge get rid of the corpses, bring them closer. And fuck down to you. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I think we're halfway through the dungeon anyway. Uh, let's just use some of our food here to heal up. And we'll take that with us just in case. Because... I have, like, this team that I have, and it's basically, like, this weird combination of, uh, Hellion, uh, Hellion, Houndmaster, uh, Jester, and Occultist, and I call it the Bleed Team, and, like, basically all of them have a Bleed skill, and some of them have, like, higher Bleed skills than others, and it's ridiculous the amount of combined damage they do. It's awesome, so. I definitely want this, because her, her heat bleeding ability is awesome. So what's that? An ancient coffin. Let's check this out. Oh, it apparently always has something good. Well, or, or, well, it's always good or nothing. So that's cool. Hidden treasure! Not really. I want deeds, damn it. I knew there was gonna be a wall. What do we have to do? 90% of room? loot. Not, not really. I've got like a lot of good shit right now. <laughs> Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Right. Oh, we got a scout. Right. I'll head this way just to get this out of the way. Hunger, okay. How much do we eat there? Fair bit, actually. Um, we'll see if we can't get something from the beast carcass. Yeah, okay, there's still some meat. Not, you know, a ton, but a little. I think it was worth coming down that hallway. <laughs> For two food, I guess. Yeah. Two food's better than starving to death. And stressing the F out. See, we're eating again. Damn. All right. Sure. The hungry bastards. I mean, I know he has like what, like a hundred more or something like that, like hundred percent more food consumed. All right. Well, they know what's coming up, or you know, a decent amount. So we got we got a few battles. I'm gonna go for straight damage here, probably. Yeah. Okay, so they've, they've, they've been hurt a little bit, so we can deal some nasty stuff to them next time. Got some blight going on. Not a fan of that, but we'll be okay. Okay, let's hew them. That wasn't a particularly good view, but whatever. Zealous accusation. Yeah, their protection is, is off. Double marked. 
dear god. Uh, let's see here. Try to kill that thing. Nobody really needs a heal at all. Just kill that guy, I guess. And, um, oh gosh. We can't actually reach him at all, so let's just do a stress heal here. I'm having a good time of this, damn. I, I realize that we do have good trinkets for this as well. That's how you do it. I think we have... This expedition at least we have slippery success. shoes, don't we? Interesting, it's an alternative to a dodge stone. If you don't want minus one speed, you could just have the, the uh, more move resist. I'm gonna take it for now, and then we'll see what we can do with it later. All right, open that coffin. Oh. Wield Explorer. All right, please tell me... Yep, you still have Slugger, you still have Deadly, you still have Manslayer. What did it replace it? It replaced, it replaced Beast here, okay. All right. I want Slugger and, and Deadly to stay on him, because it's one of the coolest friggin' combinations of things I've seen. Especially on a leper who has rabies. Like, the amount of damage buffs is, is insane, really. I'm just gonna head on through here. Now we've explored every nook and cranny in this area. We still have another camp as well that we can do. Although, honestly, like... Just, we've been owning so much in this mission that, um... I guess this is an early level mission, so technically, uh, you don't see, like, those hags and stuff like that. Alright, what do we got here? I'll take the crests, because we'll need them eventually in very large amounts to, um, for camping and whatnot. Okay, so this is, like, the first stressor that we have going on here. Such a terrible and you know, criticals don't cannot be really left unanswered. Either. I'm gonna flashbang this lady. Bring her up a little closer, and then she'll be in range for all of our other crazy shit. Um, he's actually, he still has a turn, so I'm gonna try to stun him as well. Okay, he resisted. He's gonna move back into position, unfortunately. Hue. Wow, and that is a straight up like savage hue. Masterfully executed. Oh yeah. Just collect bounty. Yeah, that'll do it. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. We are doing great this mission. Holy shit. Heal him next time, I guess. You, there is a madman. We did surprise him, though. Excellent. We do want to focus him, so let's flashbang. Yep, now he's a little bit closer. Excellent. I think a combination of Hugh and some other things will probably kill him. Or just Hugh would outright kill him. That, that works, too. Probably gonna go for this. Wow, that is a ton of damage. Holy shit, and she crit healed herself. Didn't quite kill him. Eldritch pull, please don't. Oh yeah, we do need to heal him. I, I forgot about that. Whoops! Okay, that's some nasty stress to, to, to get. Um, let's just get this guy out of the way. Wow, that's a nice crit. Pummeling. Let's attack him. Wow, that's, that's 13 through protection, by the way. That's insane. It's just, he has so many buffs because he's got rabies and the solar ring and slugger. Like, the added damage is just insane. Nice. 
we just have this lady to deal with. Oddly, I left the stressed person last. Okay, that's, that's a little weird. Hopefully you'll just be able to spam. Cool. You get another torch, we get deeds, finally! The thing I actually came here for. And uh, you know what, I'm probably just gonna buff people with holy water. Actually, it doesn't even last that long, I forgot. So let's just leave it. Um, the buff from holy water does not last that long at all. Unfortunately, it only lasts like three turns, which of course in, um, like translated is like, you move like three spaces. Um, yeah, I don't need any of that. Okay. I just hope we're not going to run into, uh, two barriers. Well, it'd be really weird if we ran into two barriers in the same hallway. Uh, we're going to keep going because we've had such crazy good luck with this. Torches. We got a battle here, it's just two slimes. Friggin' home. Heal them up a bit. And chop them. And a little bit of stress heal for himself. Excellent. Hot damn. And we have no idea what's in this hallway, so it's 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 Okay, we have no idea what's in here either. Apparently, it's a lot of stress. Hmm. I don't have a ton of ways to move him, actually. We're just gonna kill these guys, because I definitely don't want slimes to start appearing. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to move him forward, that's fine. Good dodge. He still cytokinesis is though. That's a bit bullshit for me. Alright, let's party heal because they're all a bit damaged. We'll just bring their health up a tiny bit. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> I'm not going to let them cytokinesis. Please don't Eldritch push me yet. Son of a bitch, that's even farther than before. Still okay, we gotta move him forward. Right, screw this lady. Uh, let's just go with a stun here. And raise our torch light up a bit, just in case. Alright, good. Uh, I'm gonna do some stress relief here, because I can't hit her anyway. We'll probably camp before we leave. To maximize the amount of stuff we get in this area. And there we go. Okay, let's just move him to the right position. Oops. There we go. Let's see what this has. And I will take the deeds, yes! We got some scouting. Like a really big scout. But it's only like for one room. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go to the end of this hallway. It's just food, so I'm going to move on. We'll camp here to remove what little stress we have. And then we'll see what happens. We might get attacked by something awful. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. Okay, and so... Uneasy companionship. Let's see here. I think just doing reflection... And doing... I don't... I kind of want to be attacked, almost. So, I'm going to do... Ray. And then, okay, we can encourage. And then do we have any more encourages? He's the only other guy with encourage I can do right now. And I don't think there's any other stress relief stuff I can do currently. So we'll just stress relief our healer. And there we go. And we'll rest. Nope, and we weren't attacked. All right, that's our mission. Paths and roads bring We got that crazy thing that allows for like more healing. Let them arrive on Harid. You know what? I'll be good on like a man at arms, but like give him like the craziest like health trinket ever. That'd be really cool. He'd just be like the tankiest repost man ever. All right, let's see. What we got here robust, replaced, wield explorer. Okay. 
We're definitely going to uh, lock in something for Wild George, actually. Uh, Isaac got Eagle Eye, which is useless to him. And Selly got Deadly. Cool. I think we're going to recruit uh, someone new soon, actually. All my life, I could feel an insistent gnawing in the back of my mind. It was a yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. Sweet. All right, that is some good shit. Let's see. Um, we finally have enough for the blacksmith. Uh, we're going to do weaponsmithing, probably. Oh my gosh, 58 for the last one. Holy shit. That's fine, though. Okay. Let's sort by level. Uh, I definitely want to lock in some stuff, so, uh, Wild George, uh, we want to lock in Slugger, and that's fine for right now, we'll just lock in Slugger, because the extra 10% melee damage is, is just fantastic. Um, let's see if we want to lock in anything else with anybody here. Usually I go for ones that are either damage or something crazy like that. Nope, nothing there. Control swing. Deadly, that's always... Deadly's always nice. It always is nice to have deadly. But like... It's always that thing like, what's 1% crit, you know? But when it comes down to it, it's actually pretty difficult to... Um, Warrior of Light's really nice. Warrior of Light is really good. Check out what else is going on. Precise uh, Striker. Oh yeah, that was pretty funny. So I discovered that I really like Vestals uh, being a... Like, being melee. Because Hand of Light is the coolest debuff ever. It minuses their damage and their accuracy. And then it self-bonuses your for damage versus unholy. It's really cool. Uh, let's see, quick draw. Yeah, we, we locked that in for uh, for that. That's one that, like, situationally, it could be cool because there are some really nice, like, duelist advance and, like, wicked slice and, like, you could have a melee... You could have a melee dude, but at the same time, I usually don't use highwaymen as melee. Um, let me just check this out. Yeah, nothing crazy. We'll just stick with that for right now, because I, I don't see anything. I'm like, I have to have that. So, we'll just, we'll just stick with that. So, while George is going to have that locked in, so he will have plus 10 damage forever, which is fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and check out our missions. I would love to get an accuracy stone, but I realize that's a, t a tall order. I am a fan of the legendary bracer, I gotta say. Wow, actually, that is kind of cool. It is kind of cool. That 5% crit on melee skills is is really um, is really something. The negatives are pretty nasty, but at the same time, they're situational. Um, wow, life crystal, though. I don't think I can go on a medium mission yet until I upgrade these people, though. Or at least I, uh, I help them out a, a bit. All right, well, it's either that, 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 or, or this. We already have a Legendary Bracer. I think this is, is crazy. So I think we're going to go for that. We'll go on a Medium Apprentice mission. So who do we have to bring with us? Actually, let's look here. Since Chihuahua Lover's already leveled up, I think we're going to do a Convoy... Uh, probably a Convoy Phantom Hokey Pokey Isaac, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what we'll do. And focus on them leveling up a bit. Alright, cool. And we'll get these Surgical Gloves, which are kind of really nice. 
Well, let me just make sure everybody's skills are uh, what they need to be. Uh, since he is closer, um, I think I'm going to use Uppercut. Yeah, I think we're going to use Uppercut in this case. Uh, he's got his skills for his third position. And you know, it's weird. I actually, in the previous game, I usually had... Um, I'd cultist only in the third position. So I'm wondering if there's if there's better things to do here. Demon's pull does clear corpses. Let's do that, because normally he's he's not in a position where he attacks. Let's uh let's upgrade him. So convoy, we're going to upgrade um Demon's Pull. Uh, as opposed to doing that uh, sacrificial stab because you never even use it. And plus, it's nice to be able to clear corpses, so let's just go with that. Uh, in fact, let me uh, unplug these. Well, not unplug, but you get the idea. Um, so let's start with weird construction because I normally use him as a healer. Then we'll also have vulnerability hex for marking. And then we'll do abyssal artillery in this. Alright, that should be good. Uh, let's see if we can upgrade them at all before uh, we go on this adventure. Excellent. Convoy, yep, he can use some upgrading. Phantom is upgraded and Hokey Pokey is upgraded. Just check their skills quickly before we leave. And then we'll decide on trinkets, which should be fairly easy uh, considering who we're bringing with us. Yep, that should be fine. Okay. So. Um, his is fairly typical. You bring Bloody Jester Dice to increase his bleed chance, as well as the Bright Tambourine to increase uh, stress heals and stuff like that. So. Do. I do have a thought here, though. What's his bleed chance naturally? It's like 119. We could technically give him a, uh, a better damage um, trinket. Let's just check this out, stuff out first. So let's Wounding Helmet and Hunter's Talon for the increased crit chance and accuracy. Convoy is going to have the Junia's Head. And, you know, I'd really like something that reduces stress because that is plus 20 stress damage. So if I can find anything that reduces stress, I think I'm going to stick with that. I mean, there is snake oil, but I'd love to have something that does something other than just, like, you, you have 10% less stress. But I don't think that's a thing. Or at least it's nothing I have currently. Yeah, nothing I have currently is just like, oh yeah, you also have that, you know, minus a couple stress for no reason. Hmm. We could increase his dodge. Um... Let's see what we're going to put on Isaac first. Now, this could be... This could be an interesting one. Do I want him to be faster, or do I want him to be slower and more accurate? It is an extra 5% damage. tough one. It's a tough one. Uh, let's do this. We're going to do heavy boots. Uh, we'll give him more protection. And... Yeah, we're going to do more protection and probably the sun ring. I'm thinking convoy. I'm thinking convoy will give him the solar bracer for better dodge and better crit. Or you know what, in this case, I, I think we're just going to go full out um, camouflage cloak to give him, like, the most dodge possible. And I'm thinking for uh, for the Jester, um, let's give him a Legendary Bracer, actually, and see how that goes. Because why not? We'll, we'll just see how it works. This is only an easy medium mission, so it should be fine. Alright, let's see here then. We... Okay, this is... He will consume more food. So we'll bring a little bit more food than usual. Probably uh, a full stack. 
yeah, we'll bring we'll bring a full stack then. Um, I'll bring two shovels, uh, three keys for a medium mission. I think is good enough. Eight torches is fine, and we're going to the Warrens. So I'll bring like another medicinal herb. Let me double check here. Yeah, so medicinal herbs are used for like moonshine barrels, dinner carts, makeshift dining tables. Um, we'll bring like a bandage for like a rack of blades just to see what we get. And I think beyond that we're fine. Let's go. It's gonna be an odd one. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Let's take care of that and go that way, then it's the most awkward lay I'd ever seen. But whatever. Occult scrawlings, you just don't want to touch them. There's nothing you can do with it. We got a surprise. Nice. Okay, now Demon's Pull is minus 50. Abyssal Artillery is the best you can possibly do at this point, really. For damage, at least. Okay. Probably gonna go ahead and try to take this guy out, because we can. As the fiend falls, Because we really can. A faint hope blossoms. I'm gonna go ahead and slice off here. Their formation Holy is shit. Broken. Maintain Just the clearing them out one by one. Wow. This guy was definitely going to be a bit harder, so I was expecting that. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to vulnerability hex him. Nice 17 dodge, and this will do a ton of damage. Continue the onslaught. Destroy yep. them all. Nice. All right then. Make sure we bring up a torchlight before I go in there, because bad things can happen. Alright, because I can whip two of them at once, and spine. kill two at once, Give them no quarter. apparently. Um, I'm actually going to battle ballad here to increase the chances of these guys going next, because that will give them plus four speed. Ah, shit. What is... Well, how much damage does that do? Three to six. Interesting. All right, well, we'll just take Confidence care of one of them. surges as the enemy crumbles. Good dodge. He should be good at dodging with that trinket way out there. Nice and rubies as well. This expedition at least promises success. All right, some scouting. Decent scout, too. This is 100% uh, of room battles. Okay, we might treat this one a bit differently. I still kind of want to explore, though. Just, I mean, that's the whole point of dungeon crawling, is that you, you find good shit to bring back home. You know, if you survive. Because you never know, you might find good shit. Under gold isn't worth coming out here, but whatever. kind of like full clearing a dungeon, it just... It's a nice little haha, I did it. <laughs> because this 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 game is supposed to beat you down. It, it really is. It's supposed to beat you down and make you, you know, meet your maker. It really is. The times that you can stick it to the game is, is like far and few between. Um, that only gives you food and I don't need food. Ooh. Almost missed that because I wasn't looking at the map. We do have a battle here. Okay. We're gonna drag the pig. A decisive pummeling. We got hemophilia, which I think is like what minus eight or minus like fifty percent bleed resist or something. Pretty fucking wild. Kill that pig. 
gonna go ahead and slice off. Oh, he resisted the bleed, come on. That would have been it for him. All right, we're gonna have to start healing again. Good dodge, though. Okay. I think we're just gonna go for straight here. There's not much else I can do with him. Start healing. Ew, we double stack and bleed on him. Ringing ears. Blurred vision. The end approaches. Well, shit. Okay, good dodge. Okay, uh, we do actually have some bandages for you. Ha <laughs> ha! I rarely ever use those. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. This damn dude is so much protection. Well, he's almost dead, actually. Can that dude actually attack from the back at all? Well, let's do some uh, stress relief here. That's some damn good stress relief. Bounty there. And I don't even think that guy in the back can really do anything. I'm gonna go ahead and, um... Demons pull him. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. More shovels. Excellent. We'll go down this corner and then we'll backtrack a little. Cool. Alright. Some gold. Let's bring up our torch. We need it at least above 75 for the trinkets we're using. I'm pretty sure it's just food. Also, why would you want to dig into that thing? Like, it's like human corpses and shit. Aha! In there we go. Okay, who's got some bad victory. shit? I don't care that much. You have absolutely nothing. You have a guilty conscience. And okay, <laughs> convoy, we need you to light those scrolls on fire. Woo! What'd you get? Claustrophobia, which... I've never really seen an effect at all. I wonder if it's like claustrophobia is like constant stress if you're in like a hallway or something. I, I don't understand how claustrophobia works. Now... Here's the deal. Here's the deal. We could fight the Shambler and activate this. But the Shambler rearranges your party often and there are some characters that just don't respond well to being shuffled. However, we are on a very low-level mission, which would sort of, you know, lead me to believe that it'd be easier. He does have a way to Holy Lance, um, so we could always have that in our favor. I say there's, I mean, this isn't a, this isn't a boss run, this is a, a medium run. Let's do this. We're going to go to this empty room. We're going to come back. We're, we're going to camp. I think we're... We'll, yeah, what we'll do is we'll camp. We'll get as many buffs as we can. And uh, we're going to give it a shot, actually. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. I mean, it's a bit early for camping. Usually I save it to the end, but... I mean, that's... That's a hell of an opportunity. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. So we got our Rats full heals up. Maze. Um, let's increase our damage here. I'm going to do this for the... Um, this guy. Uh, we're going to definitely take some um, stress damage from this thing. So let's do... Ooh, we definitely want this too. Plan takedown. Because I think he is actually larger. So this guy... 
If he hits him and he's a marked target, it's going to be the most ridiculous damage I've ever seen in my life. Alright, Tiger's Eye is 3. Vigil is 4. We won't have enough, so we might get ambushed, unfortunately. So every rose has its thorn for uh, stress resist. Otherwise, we do more accuracy and criticals. Let's We're just going to buff him up. He's going to be our crazy killer. Just more crits. We're going to target him. Like, this thing won't know what hit him once the friggin' dude is just going mental. The only other thing I'm thinking... I think... I think... The way is lit. The path this could is go clear. horribly wrong, by the we way. This could go horribly the strength wrong. To follow it. But at the same time, I've... I've never... I've never tried this before. And if we're gonna do it, I think we're gonna do it now. The only other... The only other party I would attempt to, like, look for a Shambler with are, like, two Vestals. One being melee, one being healing. But both having healing skills. And then, like... A jester and some sort of melee person, but otherwise we're gonna we're gonna go for this. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenable. Literally the opposite of orientation of what I want. Alright, we're definitely gonna mark them. Alright, 77 damage. I think we can do this. Uh, we're gonna move him back. We're gonna move you back to here. Slice him up a bit. He's Eldritch. Okay. Off a bit of bleed. Okay, we got some stress damage going on. Um, we're gonna move back one. Ooh, I can't collect bounty. He's in the wrong position. Shit. Alright, well, we'll collect bounty with uh, this guy. Good, we're gonna take him down easy. Good dodge, good dodge. Okay, we're gonna do a slice off here. Good, we inflicted some bleed. Deleting withdrawal. You glided us. Okay, uh, zealous accusation to get rid of these guys. Almost, almost. At some point, I do want to move him back. But we need to we need to be able to get to him, unfortunately. Um, he has he still is marked for one round. Um, let's take out one of these guys. He just does so much damage. We have to be able to we have to increase his speed, actually. Um, all right, we need to focus on healing. Let's heal our jester. Excellent. Um, we need to move him back one. Because I need to do the battle ballad so that he has more speed. Exposed to a killing blow. Gosh, there's a lot of stress going on. Um, we're gonna go ahead and zealous accusation here. Nice crit. Justice. Okay. Um, he is not marked anymore. That kind of sucks. We have to mark him. We have to bring up his speed. Uh, we're gonna heal again. Level one, excellent. Resist the bleed, excellent. We gotta start battle balloting these guys to bring up their speed so it's larger than his. Okay, we have these damn friggin' things. Okay, stress is gonna be an issue soon, so we gotta take these guys down. Ooh, the dodge hurts bad in this case. The dodge hurts. Oh, shit. Okay, we just, we just, we need the speed at this point. And the crit chance. Because this, this is going to be insane if we get away with this. Alright, uh, I'm going to do an uppercut here to maybe move him out of place here. Masterfully I just straight executed. up killed him, actually. Uh, we need to do some healing. I'm a little stressed out like IRL right now. Sensation. Good, we got a crit on him. Excellent. How long is that mark gonna last? Only one more turn, and I still can't reach him. This is a fucking shitbag. 
How much speed do you have? He has 16 speed. He should be going mental. All right, we're, we've got to mark him again or else it's going to wear off. We've got to reach a point where we're faster than him. I'm stressing out bad. Nothing at all. How much does that stack? A fair decent amount, actually. Good spot right now. Excellent, excellent. 27. Oh, yes. Yes. Nice crit for 30. That's all we needed. We just needed him to be in the right position. Um, we're going to slice off. And if he bleeds, he will die. Yep. Awesome. We just have to worry about those little things. Uh, stress is going to be an issue, but the rest of this uh, dungeon we can focus on uh, just doing a battle ballad. Oh! God damn, he's dead. Monstrous size and we got an achievement. No Terrifying figure merit, emerged from the darkness. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virgin. What? You can't... Oh yeah, you can't attack him. Uh, 70, 72. Start producing stress. It's also dark. I did not realize it was pitch black. Start healing up again. Kill this little fucker. Ooh, and we got an ancestral Success candle. So clearly in view. Or is That's it really amazing! Holy shit! I've got to fight the Shambler more often! <laughs> oh man, that's awesome! Hot damn! Alright then. Um, maybe someone could use this now. It's 15% damage. Um, 2 speed, 5 dodge. It's better than the Sun Ring. What does he have? Legendary Bracer? It's better than the Sun Ring. Shit, let's do that. Hot damn. Alright, um... Darkness is gonna be an issue. Um... Plus, most of them, like, have trinkets that actually help them. Uh, but fortunately, he does have a skill that can bring up, uh torch light by six so maybe if we spam that we'll focus these two guys on healing slash damage dealing or something okay i'm getting a little bit nervous how low the torch is injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice i was afraid we were gonna die but we we did it we did it it was just such an issue because we we focused on him getting um him getting stuff so much that uh, that once he wasn't in the right position, it screwed us up. Actually, I I'd never even thought of that that he could be in a in the back position. Let's see our food. Oh gosh, we only have one food left. Um, here's a bandage. We can see what this yields us. Okay, more food, and that that's what we need. Damn. We're gonna try to. Is this a battle? No, it's not. I could really use more torches. Like, I'll try to keep my, like, light level up to a certain degree, but I would like to actually get in some combat to, um, to try and bring up the torch light. Okay. Heals. gonna be a bit of an issue but we can we can give this a shot it was more stress 64 61 okay
dodge. Cool. Good dodge. Good dodge. What is going on here? All right. Um, let's see. Who was most stressed? 61. And that should bring up our torchlight a little. But a little. But literally a tiny bit, like I said. Hmm. Okay. I'd like to reach that guy in the back. Um, we're just going to go punch one of these guys, probably, then. Resisted, but he's stunned. That's good. All right, uh, let's do some healing here. Good heal. Inspiring two is the most stressed. Seventy-four or forty-seven, rather. Forty-nine, fifty-six. Good dodge. One. 749. Our torchlight goes up a little more. Okay. More heals to be had. Two is not what I was looking for. Well, let's do an uppercut here. Maybe move him back a bit. Doom is not helping us in this situation. I would definitely like to hit him if possible. Okay, this is um, not what I wanted to turn this battle into. 57, 52, 50. We're going to have to end this battle soon because we're not, we're not getting anywhere really. Okay, I do want to make my torchlight go up a bit more. 51, we're getting closer to somewhere. Gotta heal him up a bit. Let's just, let's just take him out. Stop effing around. 43, 48. It's to 57 light. We're getting there. We might be able to do this, actually. We'll just, like, stall this battle for a while. Alright, 47. If we can take care of him, that'd be even better, but I'm not sure we can get away with that. Nice! Okay, cool, we can. Alright, let's steal the Jester for zero. And we caused him to bleed. Great. Should be able to hit this guy next. With, uh, finish him. Excellent. Now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Now apparently there can be reinforcements uh, called, which I do have to worry about. I've never seen it happen before, but uh, it can be an issue. Bring up the torchlight start keeping it topped off as opposed to whoa that's a nice heal cut nice all right forty forty two okay we'll do that we're doing all right we are doing fine all right uh let's see thirty seven is 69. Not quite there, but almost. Uh, we're gonna mark him. We're just wasting turns at this point. Please don't stun him. Oh, shit. That's okay, though. We can get heals in other places. Let's see. 37, 30, 33... It's amazing how one battle, like, helped us recover from a shambler. Which I don't think- I didn't think I would say ever. Hell, I didn't think I was gonna fight a shambler this- this time. I thought I was gonna have to make a special party and go, like, shambler hunting. Uh, 
Oh, so now we're starting to waste time and they're, they're realizing it. I bleed! Um, alright, let's finish them off now. Yeah, we're at 75, so might as well. Hell yeah! And a little bit more stress relief. Seize this right, we don't momentum. need portraits. Push on to the task's end. <laughs> that was a long battle, but you know what? We're, we're almost good now. It's crazy. Okay, that was our last bit of food. Ooh. Interested in room battles, too. But we can keep our stuff lit up for, for a while, actually. I think we'll be fine torchwise for the rest of the mission, actually. Which is wild. What the fuck? We were surprised. I'm moving back. <laughs> Screw that. Really? You can't argue with a friggin'... You can't argue with him, man. He's friggin' insane. Oh, he's blighted too? Come on. Lance. Oh, we can only Holy Lance that thing. That's okay. It's a little bit of a shit move, actually, now that I realize it. <laughs> uh, let's do this, then. 51. <laughs> a tiny bit more. Not quite. Nice crit heal. Good stress reduction. Good dodge. Have to heal him next. Good crit. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow Have and insidious killer. Oh, we ran out of food. Guys, back in the position they were supposed to be. Excellent. Oh, we got a battle. What the hell is going on? <laughs> this is dumb. One by one, we'll kill these little fuckers. Thirty, thirty-three, thirty-six. Okay. Good dodge. Good dodge. Okay. That couldn't have happened forever. Good stuff. All right. Let's see. Thirty, thirty-three. I like how this medium mission turned into a, like the, the length of a long mission purely based on the fact that I wanted to uh, stress and uh, stress heal and bring my torch up with, with combat. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Wasn't my original plan, but uh, when do you ever suspect a shambler? <laughs> uh, let's do this then. I really don't need portraits, so I'm actually going to take the gold in this case. Oh yeah, you're out of order. Uh, we got like four keys, but we haven't used to use one yet. Okay. Um, technically... I'm trying to think here. Um, we really don't need portraits. Um, but I will take crests. Because we need a lot of them to upgrade the, uh... What the hell is it called? Like the trinket merchant and, uh, and the camping skill lady. Which I definitely want to use at some point. 
I haven't really seen anybody like use the camping skill lately. And uh, it, like camping skills are great if you mind playing that them. such missteps are the exception and not the rule. Okay. Didn't one of these become like a man hater at some point? So this might be excellent. Uh, we definitely need to heal. Like fire sucks. Especially the debuff to dodge. And that can possibly knock you back, I think? Oh, to... Ew, uh, that can knock you back, though. Burns. I think in this case it doesn't matter who's first. Uh, I just want to kill that guy, because holy shit. I hate his, um, his slice and dice move. is, is terrible. Stress here. Our torchlight's fine, let's just focus on damage here. That was like half his health. Um thirty-eight. Fucking hey, that's awesome. Does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Nice. Pretty bastard. Come here. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> dirt. That sounds like a like a fun time. Let's just punch him in the face. Raw. Well, that worked. <laughs> it even did some stress reduction. Awesome. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I don't think we're gonna collect enough food, so we're just gonna heal. And uh, in this case, how much of the dungeon do we have left? Not much. I doubt we're gonna use the holy water. I will take those. And let's be honest, I'm not going to use those either. We have one more room to go. How bad can it fucking be? Oh gosh, what did you do? What the? Why is that being deleted? Uh oh, because you you did uh you you posted a link. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The light, the promise of safety. Let's not touch this. I should have left, probably. Oh my gosh, Dirsh! Stop, stop aggravating Moobot. It doesn't like links, no matter how stupid it is. Even if they're not real links, it will say, like, you're not allowed, blah, 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 blah. Son of a bitch. Mubot apparently hates Gaiden. Apparently. We're gonna focus on health. We're just gonna fuck shit up. Screw these little piggy bastards. Oh, he got scurvy. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, he's almost dead. Fucking egg. Um, 36. Go! And Huakao, you pig hooker. Wow, I did not kill it. That is weird as hell. Um, I guess let's heal some people. For zero! Just kick his ass. There we go. <laughs> it shouldn't have been that difficult. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Okay, I'll take a look, Dirge. Awesome. So, I don't know if you were there for it, but we fought the Shambler and won. 
It was awesome. We did it with this party too. Some experiments right. should have never happened. You are doing just Holy work shit. ending them. Cool, a lot of them reached uh, level 3, which is awesome. So we have a level 3 party to work with. Isaac got Ruin Scrounger. Phantom got Resilient. Uh, what the hell is on the earring? I don't even remember what that is. Hokey Pokey got Meditator. And Convoy got Warren's Adventure. Wow, that's all positives. Well, except for, you know, the diseases they contract. But we can take care of those. <laughs> Curiosity, All right. interest, and obsession. That's not a cool ball. Trinkets. On my We're starting to, to get damnation. a good collection of shit again. I'm happy about that. All right. Um, we got to get rid of some diseases, unfortunately. So Phantom's got to get rid of scurvy, because, well, that's bad. And Hokey Pokey's got to get rid of hemophilia, because, well, that that's bad. Can we upgrade the sanitarium? We totally can. Interesting. I had not considered that before. Let's Curious do. methodologies and apparatus can calm even the most tormented soul. Sweet. All right then. Um, we've got a lot of level threes, damn. Um, well, we can't do a level three mission or a mid-level mission right now, so we'll probably bring these guys. And I guess we're gonna need a new person with us. So, let's do this. Um, we'd bring Isaac, uh, Wild George, Selly, and then we'd bring one more person. So it would have to be like either, a, it would have to be a third row person. Alright. So let's see here. Who would be a good third row person? Another Jester! Another Jester never hurt. In fact, I, I friggin' love gestures in this game. It's it's amazing. He will be laughing still at the end. Except he's a goddamn kleptomaniac. We'll uh we'll take care of that after this round. Fucking A. Oh, I mean it's either that or we go with an arbalist. An arbalist is definitely very cool. But I think we need to start raising up another jester, definitely. Uh, we don't have enough jesters. Alright, so... Let's, uh, let's make sure he has the right moves. So he's got... Um, Battle Ballad Inspiring Tune. Excellent. We got Harvest, Slice Off, Battle Ballad, Inspiring Tune. Excellent. I uh, can't upgrade him yet, but let's see if we can upgrade. Yep, we can upgrade Wild George. I think we might be able to upgrade Isaac as well. Sweet. Alright, now what mission are we going to go on tomorrow? What is that? It's actually really nice. Should we go to a boss tomorrow? This is the eight brigand pounder. Or the brigand eight pounder. Freaking why not? Alright, so tomorrow we'll uh, we'll start off with a boss battle. The lost band. Okay, cool. Um, I didn't realize it was a thing. Um, we can equip him now too, might as well. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we got the ancestral candle too, which is so damn cool. Um, we need accuracy more than anything for, um, for Wild George. Uh, so we're definitely going to give Wild George the Sun Ring for more accuracy. And let's see here. Give him Ancestor's Candle. I'm not sure about that though. But I'd love him to have more accuracy. Maybe Book of Relaxation. That might be good for him. Or maybe Surgical Gloves. Mm hmm. 
Surgical gloves might be pretty good for him, actually. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Surgical gloves and sunring. I like that. And of course, we're gonna have the, um... Guy here. Let's see. Unfortunately, it's gonna be, like, his first go, so he's not that powerful at all. Um... What a combination of egomania and kleptomaniac. That's that's a hell of a thing. Not only is it, you know, I'm going to take this. It's like, oh, it, I'm going to take this because it should belong to me. <laughs> it's a hell of a thing. All right. Well, I guess we could do bloody dice to increase his bleed chance. What's the base bleed chance of these? It's 100. Yeah, he could use a, a, a buff for that probably. So let's give him a Bloody Jester dice as well. Our Vestal will have the crazy combination of Junia's head and the Vestal Stroll, so she has the craziest heals imaginable. And let's see, for our guy, I think we're going to do uh, Ancestor's Candle. And... Hmm. Probably thinking Ancestor's Candle and Solar Bracer for the increased crit chance uh, and dodge. So he'll have, like, plus 10 dodge, which is awesome. Um, I think that's going to be pretty damn good. Alright, cool. Um, ooh, I just thought of something. This is against the 8-pounder. This is against the 8-pounder, and the 8-pounder... I don't think we're going to bring the Jester this time, because the 8-pounder is, um... It has, like, a special move where you have, like, there's this dude who, like, lights a torch, and then the, the cannon fires, and it does an ass ton of damage. I just made up a word, because I couldn't figure out, like, what the hell. But, anywho. We're going to bring the Arbalist! Because she's the only one that's going to be able to shoot it besides uh, the healer Landage when she's not healing. Pillage. The dancing Let's make sure we have the right war. shit going on. Alright. Totally forgot about that. Let's definitely get a sniper's mark in here. And yeah, suppressing fire. Alright, so we'll get rid of those two and focus on those. Uh, we're going to go like this, actually. Mark. Bola suppressing fire. Okay, this is going to change up our stuff, however. So it's not going to be the Lost Band. This is going to be our first mission, which is going to be a hell of a thing. Um, I would love her to do, like, an insane amount of damage. Minus three speed kind of sucks, though. Definitely do camouflage cloak. It's a shame there's no. It doesn't seem like I have a trinket that like raises ranged damage, unfortunately. So we'll go with that. She is a warrior of light though, and tough. Wow, that's a hell of a combination. I like that. All right, well uh, that's what we'll do for next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow to uh, fight the eight pound, uh, the brigand eight pounder, which is a giant cannon. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and we will be back next time. All right, see everybody.